I am going to show how to place positions in a model and uh, how to work with them, uh, turning uh, around and uh, moving them. So we select the position tool and we go to the model and place positions, enter, enter. For the moment, we don't care how the positions vectors are oriented because we will reorient them when we finish this. Okay. So, 29 positions. We are going to select them all now. And uh, with the tool Uniform Vectors, we place them all are oriented the same way. Now, we can also rotate them at the same time. So we see that they are kind of following the curve, so we don't want that. So we are going to turn. We'll turn around. If we don't see the three vector normals, then we uh, escape and we go to a position where we can see them better, like there. And uh, first we want to put them all horizontal and I'm going to uniform. And now we want the red pointing up, so it's going to turn around this one. And that's it. We have now all the positions. I escape. Now I can move. And we have all the positions pointing the same way. With all the positions still selected, we can try an effect. So I'm going to click on the effects window. It comes up. And we are just going to select a, a comet, 60 millimeters. So we can see that all go on the same direction. So now let's uh, change the time on this and first we mark a queue or we just mark a queue right there and we have a position selected, position selected and an effect we just double click on and we have the effect down there on the storyboard. And uh, we can change them. Uh, we are going to change them to, uh, to 45. So I'm going to just first copy this queue here. Control C and put it there. Control Paste. I'm going to show you how to make this change to 90 to 45 on this second queue uh, really quick by using uh, uh, export to Excel. So we are going to export to Excel. Sydney XLS. I replace. Conversion is done, completed. And now I'm going to open. So I have a Excel open. Let's go find um, the tilt value. I hide all the columns that I don't need and let's go find the time is uh, 27.4, we see 45 here, so we just do 45, we don't have more queues at the end, control shift and roll down and control D to fill. So now we have uh, all that at uh, 45, I'm going to save, uh, going back to Pyro Creator, script BSD, import Excel, and we import XLS. Conversion is completed. And now we play. 
take the positions out and we have a 45 So we want to duplicate this queue, control copy and control paste there and uh, do the same thing, script bsd export to x, take out these windows Forty-five. Thirty-five. That's all. Use Excel to edit your script and uh, address for other firing systems and make anything you want with it.